All right, guys. Got a new router here. Thought I'd do a quick video on it. Um, my old router shit the bed. Um, I do have this other Makita here. It's a pretty old one, but um, you know you can't. This is just a like a trim router, and so you can't put a big old bit in there. So I can't use all my bits, and I got a big roundover bit that I was um, making some doors for a cabinet in my basement. So I looked and looked and went back and forth, and this has probably been six months ago that I started looking, and uh, I didn't need one real bad. The project wasn't really needing to get done right away, and... So I just waited and kind of did the research and then forgot about it and come back to it. So I originally wanted to go with like a DeWalt or Milwaukee cordless, but I really don't use a router that much. It's just just for basic projects around here. Um, we got other routers at work, so um, you know this is just for stuff I do around here and side projects and whatnot. And it is nice to have one because I, um, I'm i always doing something little or whatever for myself that um, that I need one. So ended up going with the Makita. This was 150 bucks on Amazon. Um, there's your model number there. And the reason I went with this, I've we've used Makita routers for forever, just the trim ones. Um, I've never used a plunge base on a Makita, but this other one I had, I don't even, I think I saved it. I save everything. Yeah, up here in my, in the tool graveyard. Anyways, it's just an old craftsman router. You can't even see it. I was going to pull it out, but all that shit would have fell. Um, it was just an old Craftsman router I got at a yard sale for like 45 bucks and that was like 15 years ago and it's the things worked fine, it's worked great. Um, that one had lights on it, this one does not, which I didn't really notice when I bought it. I'm not sure if I probably would have settled for this anyhow, but anyhow, we'll just go ahead and open her up. This isn't going to be a real in-depth view. I've already opened it up and um, looked at it. Haven't used it though. So you have your your trim base here. I've got the fence on it. But yeah, so that's pretty nice. Pretty close to... You know, this same size with some added padding and whatever. And, you know, everything in the old days was tool. You had to have an Allen wrench or some kind of tool to adjust everything. And that is the biggest pain in the ass. I mean, if it's all you got, it's all you got. And it works, but it is a pain in the ass. So here's the router here in the plunge base i had it just monkeying around with it um you know it's kind of weird they give you a guide for this base but not this one this one takes like the two arms go in here the arm comes out it's like a little rod and then it's got the son of a bitch on it but yeah you think they would include that um over here in the the manual I was flipping through that and they have all these um, you know plunge base optional accessory like everything was optional accessory which you know these things are cheap you know you think they would just throw that shit in that's the cool shit when you buy something all the little accessories so Whatever, we'll, we'll deal with what we got, and if we need one of those accessories down the road, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. 
Um, this is kind of interesting. I'm I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Is like you can have different shit set at different different depths, which is kind of cool. I thought that was a neat little feature. You know, you could set, um, you know, if a project's taking different depths of stuff, and you can set each one and roll around, makes the job a lot easier. Um, you know, all this is pretty basic router shit. So, yeah, and then all you have to do to take it off. So that's all that come in the box, the wrenches for your blades. Um, a toolless bit changer would be nice. I'm sure some brands have that. Like I said, these are the only ones I've used. And then um, the Makita, we have it in the trailer. So there's your power head. And then you would just slide this son of a gun on there you can make your um you know adjustments with that knob there crank it over put this little sucker on here one way or the other this had it on there. Those little damn washers are. There we go. Just like so. And then you'd adjust your depth there. So we're actually going to throw this little sucker in here and this must just be a quarter inch shank I'm not sure if you could get a, a call it deal for a half inch shank or not but luckily all my bits are quarter inch so We'll get this little badass tightened up here. I was making a little, um, a little stand for my tablet. Just something real simple. So, set him about there, maybe. This old piece of barn wood. I'm just going to set these little son of a guns up here. Tablet will sit there and then I'm going to router this notch in there. Just real simple. And then we might take a bit and go around the edge. So let's get this guy plugged in. See how she runs. Alrighty, get this sucker plugged in here. A cordless model would be nice, but you know, it was the price and um, a guy down at our local, um, one of the tool repair shops in town, they sell tools, new tools too, but um, he made a good point. We were gonna buy a, a nibbler for metal roofing and shit and we went in there looking for the cordless model and he's like no i don't carry the cord cordless model i just carry the corded model and so we're like well shit i guess we'll go somewhere else and he's like well how much are you going to be using it and we're like well shit i don't know maybe a couple times a year and he he made a good point you know if you buy a tool that you're only going to use a couple times a year in a cordless model um you know, that tool, if you get a corded one, you know, if you buy a good brand and take care of it, 25, 
50 years down the road, you'll still have that tool. I bet you that router, that was my grandpa's, I bet you that thing's 40 years old. So, you know, if that were to be a cordless, obviously they didn't make that many cordless tools back then, but um, they probably wouldn't make that same battery 40 years later. So, um, it's one thing to think about. I know cordless is nice and, um, <clears throat> you know, most of all my cordless stuff I use all the time and I try to sell it, most of it, before it gets too obsolete or too run in the ground and upgrade if you can is the nice thing to do. So <clears throat> it's just something to think about. Um, so that was one reason I went with the corded model. Just I don't use it that much and if I, you know, if I had a huge job where there was miles and miles of trim I need to, needed to route or um, whatever the case is, then I'd go buy a cord, cord, cordless router. Um, so I just figured this is going to suit my needs more than plenty right now and we'll cross that bridge if we need to later on down the road. All right, let's get some ears on. Probably just use my sunglasses. But we will get this set up. Fire this puppy up, we'll take off, go to the moon. Sucker works good. Excellent. Yep, that's going to work just fine for what I need to do. So we're going to take this guy off here. That is handy though. Super handy. I've never had a fence on any of my routers before, so. And it does have adjustable speed. Um, like I said, I wish it had them lights on it. That would have been pretty sweet. I'm not sure it's got a button there to hold the, the chuck thing, but. You also got two wrenches. I'll just use the wrenches. Son of a muffin. That baby's probably hot too. Alright, what do we want around? I think I'm going to use this guy right here. See how... That puppy goes. And we might have to stick our fence back on. Because we're not going to be... I don't know why I can't talk right now. Well, let's try him on a... On a scrap. 
come over here and make sure you guys can see what the hell's going on. Yeah, we're going to have to stick this guy back on, which is fine. So we'll get him set. See, now that's not going to work. See, it's got that bearing on there, but I don't want to be that far down. That bearing might need to come off of there if it can. Probably going to get about 20 people saying, Unplug the tool before you take the bear out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do you and not do me. Yeah, I think we're going to have to take that little sucker off there. So we'll pull this, maybe, maybe we'll pull him, oh that's a hair too small. Well, I don't know where the hell is Allen wrench that damn small is. Hmm. <laughs> Could use that. That would be fine. That's going to be like a 45-ish. Look at that. wonder if that sucker fits this one. Not that I ever used it, but nope. That was a little dust poured off that last one. That's all right. Well, I got my other box of bits up there, but let's just do this one. See, now this is, if you wanted that any shallower, which I kind of do, this plate isn't going to work. Because it hits this. That's why... You need a plunger. Okay. Set him. And then we're going to set him about there and see what happens.
Okay, that worked out nice. This board's a little cupped, so it's a little less here, just because the plate's so big, it was kind of riding, riding on the high spots, but that'll work. Let's get a sander and Just hit that guy real quick. Guys are getting two for one. A little router unboxing and a freaking tablet, son of a gun, and how to build your own stand. Just kidding. Alrighty. Well, maybe we'll just continue this video on through, huh? Go ahead and put some screws up in that. Other drills are in the truck, so I'm just going to use these and just wing it. Just wing it here. We're 
getting real technical now. Real technical. Okay. Okay, okay. Look at there. Might run me a piece of um, weather stripping or something in there. See if we did all right here. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? I might nip them corners off right there. What shall we do that with? Get in here to our weather stripping bucket. We got white, we got gray. Put that on the bottom. Put that on the back. Put a little dab of Gorilla Glue on there for good measure. Wonder if that's going to be. That might be too thick. Might not be heavy enough to push that down in there. That is too thick. 
What else we got? Look at some of that right there. It looks a little thinner. Not as wide, but it'll do. Thought that shit was double sided sticky for a minute. It's kind of sticky on both sides. let that dry before we put that back in there Damn ducks are going at it out there. Alrighty folks. There we go. This turned into turned in from a router video making a stand for a, a damn tablet that's all right alrighty guys well that's my quick and dirty review on that Makita that's the model RT 0701 CX7 like I said on Amazon about 150 bucks I'm sure the prices vary all the time on there. They seem to, like they fluctuate a little bit, but um, keep you guys updated if I have any trouble with that, or maybe we'll just do a another review down the road once I get some more time behind it and get some more projects done, but I'm sure you'll see it in upcoming videos. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. See you on the next one. Take care.